How can you share envelopes between different DocuSign users? What action can and cannot be taken on shared envelopes? How can you access shared envelopes? A lot of questions, and I'm gonna answer those right now. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Sofian Saudi, the founder of Solisan Consulting. We help financial services companies scale their sales and customer onboarding workflows using automation software. If your business could use some help with DocuSign implementation or integration, you can find the link in the description of this video to book a strategy session with me but for now let's see how to set up envelope sharing envelope sharing is super helpful in case someone goes on leave and you want another user to be able to view and act on the envelopes of the guy who's busy sipping Moritos. Only an admin type user can configure DocuSign envelope sharing features because this process is done in the settings tab. So that's where we're gonna go now. So click on settings from the home page. Then you wanna go to users, then look for a user and go to the actions menu. From here, you've got two options. So if we select share envelopes with users, this is for you to grant the uh, selected users access to the envelopes of other users. And if you select share users envelopes, this is for you to grant access to the selected users envelopes to other users. Feel free to pause and play this back, I won't get offended. So let's just say that this particular user wanted to share their envelopes with this user. What I would do as the admin is to click on actions and then share users envelopes. And then I'm gonna select who uh, is going to get access to those uh, specific users envelopes. So I'm gonna select myself and click on assign. And so that's it. Now I can see that user's envelopes. If I want to see the user's envelopes, I'm going to go to the Manage tab. Just click on Shared Envelopes, and then I'll select users whose envelopes I want to see. So I've got two users. I could have 100. It doesn't matter. I'll click on Select, and I'm now in the um, Manage tab of that particular user as if I was logged in as them. So what actions can I take on those shared envelopes? I can take any action the owner of the envelopes would be able to take. So that includes avoiding, correcting, viewing. What you cannot do, though, is to sign the envelope on behalf of that user. This is because the right to sign the envelope is not given to the owner of the envelope, but to the recipient who's been assigned a signing action in the workflow of the envelope. However, there's a workaround. So since you've been given the ability to correct the envelope, you can replace the signing recipient by yourself and therefore you'll be able to sign a document and even maybe complete the envelope if you want. This is an envelope that the user who's sharing their envelopes with me uh, needs to sign. So if I want to sign myself, I can simply click on correct and then I'll be able to change the recipient for myself. So here I can just say, this is no longer you signing. This is me. And then therefore, when I click on next, I'll click on correct. And I'll then receive an email notification inviting me to sign. I can just go ahead and sign. Now, if I want to go back to my envelopes because I'm still looking at the envelopes belonging to the other user. I need to click on return to my envelopes. And here it is. This is the document that the other user was supposed to sign. But now that I've corrected it, I'm the one who needs to sign. Of course, all of this is captured in the audit trail. So there's nothing wrong with doing this. We need to make sure that you're actually supposed to be signing the envelope. And if you're just starting with DocuSign and aren't sure how templates and power forms work, I recommend that you download my free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet because it will show you how to get started with fields, recipients, and templates. You can download it using this link and you can also uh, find it in the description of the video in case you've just missed it. Now, before you go ahead and set up envelope sharing, suppose that you, the reason that you want to uh, share users' envelopes across team members is because you suspect there will be bottlenecks in completing documents. If that's the case, you might want to set up signing groups. A signing group is a pool of users you can uh, create and all these users will be notified when a new new envelope needs to be signed and any of those users can sign. Or you might want to use delegated signing. I've released a video on signing groups recently, so if that's of interest to you, go check it out now. But this feature is not available on web plans that you can just buy online. You need to reach out to DocuSign and get um, a quote. Now, there's another feature that you might want to learn about, which is called delegated signing. I've also created a video on delegated signing. The difference between signing groups and delegated signing is that signing groups allows a pool of users to act and sign on the envelope when delegated signing allows signing rights 
to another user only for a certain period of time. However, that person needs to be part of the DocuSign account when anyone can be part of a signing group. I know this can be super confusing, so I really recommend that you watch the other two videos on that same topic so that you really understand what is the best option for your need. And I post DocuSign related videos on a weekly basis. So if you want to be notified on new features and better ways of using DocuSign, don't forget to hit subscribe and feel free to stay another 10 seconds just to see what other videos uh, YouTube is recommending that you should watch. I'll see you there. Ciao.